we have a problem and I'm an idiot so I'm gonna share it I think I can come up with a minor solution for it so every video that I watched and and you know it's on me I should have seriously put the thought into it um, Whatever. These are awful loud. That worked out pretty well. I had the, uh, the tarp wrapped around it in such a way that I thought it would be protected from the weather. 
And it was. Smokes that thing is beefy. <clears throat> Man, that's beautiful. Holy smokes, that's beautiful.
That is so awesome. Holy smokes. That is so darn cool. All right, I'll park this right underneath the edge of the trailer here and then perk it off. Very nice. This, uh, this path is just because I have a low spot up front there that will not drain on its own even though the back of this slopes down a bit. So, I had to do this last year too. Basically, basically I have a, a huge pool of water up here. And it's going to continue to melt and run this way. Um, and now that pool of water that was, say, maybe this big to start with, has worked its way all the way down to a pretty small pool. And I'll just keep an eye on this last year when I did it, um, just towards the end when, I, when there was really not a whole lot of water left and everything was kind of soaking in. I grabbed a rake and raked everything over and cleaned everything up so I didn't have the trough. So that's the only issue I've had with the driveway since I started was getting it to drain the way I would like it to drain. God, I'm really fired up about that saw. That's really a neat, neat saw and a neat stand. Super excited about that. like a little river just like a little river I've got it all flowing off to uh, out where the garden area is going to be the chickens are probably trying to figure out what I'm doing 
going. One of the frustrating things about trying to do any project here, uh, and I guess generally in particular anywhere you go, is that I don't have decent storage. And because I don't have decent storage, I put stuff wherever I can. Because I put stuff wherever I can, I can't find half the stuff when I need it. <laughs> so I'm really glad that this is not a crunch time. I had to get busy getting this all going because I have to figure out where I put my uh, skill saw. I don't know where it went. Um, it's brand new. I just bought it last year. So I'm thinking I took it over to the trailer uh, and then I couldn't find this one. And I just went back through and dug through it again to see if I couldn't find it. And I did. Um, what my plan here is these cuts will be on the center beam. Right when I when I build the beam, these cuts will be in the middle, um, and then on the outside edges. So it'll be three beams wide, right? On the outside edges will be the full pieces, no cuts. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these cut ends that I'm going to do right now because they're obviously not going to be as straight as they need to be on the outside of the beam, on the ends of the beam, because again these boards are um, ten foot one half inch. Uh, so I'm picking up a half, I'm going to pick up an inch and a half at the end when I'm done anyway um, to trim them all up. And on top of that, I've got the six foot length instead of the 24 foot length now. So I'm going to cut this one and let's see if we can get this started. And again, they don't have to be the same size because I'm going to use all of those beams, right? So I'm going to start with one of these. And I'm going to end with one of these in the middle. Um, and so it, it may seem counterintuitive. How am I going to nail the big board to the short board? I'm not. I'm going to nail the short board to the big board and then take it from there. So one of the things I'm looking for here is for this to be perfectly matched 
and flat on the top. And then I'm going to look for it the other way as well. This one's off just a tad. I guess I can do it this way too. Nice, that'll work. Right, so you can see where it's just eyeballed here. I'll grab it with the cell phone so you can get a better idea. So, nice and on the flat there. Nice and on the flat there. It looks like I've got just a tad right here. That's okay. And same thing over here. Just got a tad as well. So I'm gonna I'm gonna scooch this board over just a, a smidge in that way and see what we could do to get it squared up. Um, I think the main thing is to make sure that I have uh, one side perfectly even. Uh, that'll be the side that I'm building my subfloor on. So if I have one side perfectly even all the way down, I think we'll be good to go. Since I'm continuing on with the glue past a certain point, right? We have a problem and I'm an idiot so I'm gonna share it I think I can come up with a minor solution for it so every video that I watched and and you know it's on me I should have seriously put the thought into it um, but every video I've watched said hey yeah you know you're using 16 penny nails 16 D's three and a half inch nails well if each one of these boards is an inch and a half that's three inches so that means that I now have a half an inch worth of nail hanging out the back side of this board. Now, mind you, um, the original plan was that was going to be the metal board, right? But now that one can't be the metal board anymore. So um, I'm going to actually have to pound those nails back in a bit so that I can get it glued up and lined up. Um, and move it accordingly how I have to to get make sure that I have that nice even level on the top. Uh, but yeah, oops, don't like that. Don't does not make me happy. And this is a pain in the butt to nail sitting up here. <laughs> Screw it up. I'm going to show you. I screwed it up. Believe me, you're going to laugh a lot at a lot of the stuff that I do. You're going to shake your head a lot at all of the stuff that I do. Um, Lord knows I shake my head at myself a lot of the, for a lot of the stuff that I do. <laughs> oh, well. Time to get back at it, I guess.